In this lesson, we will discuss some of the uses of the short but complicated word chi in Italian. You are already familiar with chi as the first person plural or noi form of the direct, indirect, and reflexive and reciprocal pronouns like in ci vediamo presto or mamma sempre ci prepara la pasta. You are also familiar with the common expressions ci sono, there are, and c'è, there is. However, ci can also be used in other ways. Let's look at a few. You may remember from a previous lesson that another small but complicated word, ne, takes the place of words or sentences introduced by di. Hai voglia di ballare? No, non ho voglia. Non ne ho voglia. And this sentence, ne, replaces di ballare, so that we don't have to, to repetitively state no, non ho voglia di ballare. Similarly, ci can generally take the place of words or sentences introduced by a, in, su, or da. Vai al supermercato dopo il lavoro? Sì, ci vado prima di tornare a casa. It would be quite repetitive and boring to answer this question by saying, Sì, vado al supermercato. Vai al supermercato dopo il lavoro? Sì, vado al supermercato prima di tornare a casa. So, ci is used in place of al supermercato and the reference is understood. Vivi in Italia da molto? No, ci vivo da qualche mese. Here, ci takes the place of in Italia, again to avoid repetition. Ci is also used in some set expressions. Perhaps the most common is ci vuole or ci vogliono, meaning it takes or one or it needs. Ci vogliono anni per imparare l'italiano. It takes years to learn Italian. Ci vogliono due ore per arrivare alla costa. It takes two hours to get to the coast. Ci vuole coraggio. It takes courage. Ci vuole un po' di sale nella zuppa. The soup needs a little salt. Notice that the verb volere corresponds to the noun it refers to. In the first two examples, vogliono refers to the singular nouns, rather to the plural nouns, anni and ore. In the second two examples, the singular vole is used with the singular nouns coraggio and sale. This concludes the e-lesson on the use of ci in Italian. Ci vuole pazienza per imparare ad usare ci.